Hi, I'm Steve Ellsmore from Altechnic. Uh, I'm one of the product engineers within the group. I'd like to have a chat with you today about inlet control groups. But before we do, make sure you like and subscribe. That way you'll get up-to-date information from our YouTube channel. Right, one of the biggest calls we get within our technical group is about safety relief valves passing on inlet controls. Now this is usually down to one or two reasons, so we're going to investigate those today. So you may have noticed as an engineer water passing through the tun dish. Now this can be because the safety relief valve has failed or the temperature and pressure valve has failed. On an annual service, an engineer should check for dirt or debris within the strainer on the pressure reducing valve or for any wear and tear to the safety relief valve also contained within this inlet control group. Now the inlet control group has several functions. One, it will control pressure. Two, it will allow for a safety valve to discharge. And three, it has an inlet uh, control group uh, check valve sat within the, within the main brass component. So if the safety relief valve is passing, we need to look at why, because it is a safety component. Is the expansion vessel precharged down? Does that need a service and, and maintenance? Or is that pressure reducing valve full of debris? So we, we need to look at that from an engineer's perspective and indeed a homeowner's perspective, because of course, if you're discharging water, you're wasting water, you're gonna get a higher water bill. So the engineer may need to replace that safety relief valve. Quite common, we get a call to say, I've replaced the valve and two weeks later, it's discharging again. Now that's usually down to the expansion vessel pressure hasn't been checked during that maintenance. So it's really key to make sure that pressure is checked. Any other business, please contact Altechnic and we'll help you. Thank you.